this video, we're going to look at how to calculate central tendency metrics. So first of all, why do we want to do that? So often when we have large sets of data, we need to be able to create a central representative number. And so that's what central tendency does, is gives us kind of bird's eye view of this information. So we're going to look at calculating the minimum, the maximum, the median, which is the middle number in the range, and mode, which is the frequency of numbers. So we have a small set here, which will allow us to kind of dive in a little easier. And we're going to go ahead and calculate each of these values. Let's dive in and create our formula. So just like before, we'll start by typing and, and figuring out like, what might I want to do? Well, there's minimum. And so it's going to ask us, where do we want this to be from? And we can just come over here, grab our data, hit return. So two is our minimum number. And since we have a short list, we can just verify that by looking at it. Let's do our next one. So now we have our max. We're going to select that. And again, we'll just come over, select our data, hit return. And our max is our highest number, which we can also verify. Now, you can see how easy it is to type in our functions, and we've had a lot of luck with finding exactly what we want. But remember, we can also use that insert function wizard to help us find what we want. So we're going to do our median. So that's the middle number in our set. And now let's look at mode. Now, we have a couple of different options here. Hmm, what might we want? Well, because I've done this a couple of times, I know what we want is a single mode. What's the difference between multiple mode function and single mode function? So let's say that we wanted to figure out if there were two similar numbers, we could use multiple mode. In our case, we're gonna use a single mode. And that is the number that appears most frequently. And so that's a quick look at how you can calculate those central tendency metrics.